Kamo sa internet, may nag-email asking if he could buy a 4060 from us and then kami mag ship to the States. And I asked him, why? Kung sa States ka na, usually mas mura na lang dun. And he's like, no, mas mura sa inyo. Tapos naisip ko, bro, what you smoking? But I checked out what he said and totoo, mas mura nga yung Philippine prices compared to the US prices. Baliktad na yung mundo. We'll talk about that after the ad break because while some prices might have changed, what hasn't changed is sobrang mura pa rin ng Windows activation codes from our sponsor. Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated Windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, nagsindigi ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sadong depressed ako. But now, I found a love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com just for the guys watching for the first time, this is Price Watch where we take a look once a month at CPU and GPU prices in the Philippines. Kinokolate namin yung data from the four largest PC retailers in the country to get an average price of the models that we're tracking. You can find all of that data in the Google tracking sheet, link in the description below. And usually for Price Watch, you know, I talk about kung nagmahal ba yung 4060, maybe anticipate pricing trends for the next couple of months. But this time, thanks to that email, we'll be doing all of that and also looking at Amazon prices compared to local prices. And YouTube hyperbole aside, nagulat din talaga ako sa discrepancy, ang layo ng range between Philippine prices and Amazon prices and mas mura yung Philippine prices for all but one of the models that I just tracked. So let's get into the numbers. Okay, so usually we start out with the summary, but for today, we're gonna go down here can't see it on your screen, but you can see it when you go to the sheet. You go to the tabs down below, may Amazon versus PHP. So what I did here was, we already have the data for the average prices for certain models. Dito sa Pinas, and then I got the cheapest version that I could find on Amazon. So kung 4060, two fan model yung sinasurvey natin for our price watch, that's the one that I look for also on Amazon, but the cheapest price. So actually, mas lugi pa yung comparison because we're using the Philippine average prices, not the Philippine cheapest prices, versus the Amazon cheapest price. Pero yung Philippine price, di na kailangan nung additional benefit kasi even with that sort of handicap, ang mahal pa rin ng Amazon prices. It's, yung nga, baliktad yung mundo. I was really surprised when I did this. I wasn't expecting na, una, I wasn't expecting na mas mahal yung Amazon, pangalawa, by this much. So how I arrived at this conversion was that I used the BSP rate for the day that I compared the prices. So this is the official Banco Central USD to PHP rate. The Amazon price is just the price itself. Wala pang if there are any taxes involved, wala pang shipping fees, just the price itself. And even there for the 4060, you can see that the average price dito sa atin for the month of May is around 18,100. That's a decrease from last month. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Yung cheapest na hanap ko sa Amazon is almost 22,000 pesos. Grabe. So that's a 21% difference or so. If you're curious, that is the PNY 4060. And the expectation usually is na mas mahal yung parts dito sa Pilipinas compared to the US, which is such a larger market. They can get volume discounts and things. So I'm not going to speculate in this video bakit mas mahal na ngayon sa states, but the prices speak for themselves. So 5090 average price sa atin also went down for this month around 173,000. Dun sa states cheapest na hanap ko is already at 196k Philippine pesos. That's around the 13.6 difference between the prices. If you're curious, that's a Zotac 5090. 5070 is the only model that I saw na mas mahal dito sa atin. Here average price is around 40,000 pesos. Dun sa states it's around 39. 
So, the only model na panalo yung US in terms na mas mura doon, ang liit nung diferensya, ang liit nung price difference compared to the other model where the price difference na mas mura tayo is quite significant. So, it's a 3% price difference. That's a PNY 5070. Going on to the AMD side, the 9070 is also more expensive in the States, also by a lot, around 12%. So here sa atin is around 45,500. Dun sa states, average price converted to PHP is 51,000. You're paying 6,000 pesos more if you buy it in the states from Amazon. Wala pang shipping, wala pang taxes. So I was curious kung if that trend continues with CPUs. It does and the price difference is also significant. 9800X3D, everybody's favorite go-to CPU for gaming. Ganda ng performance niyan. Here, you can get it for an average of around 33,000 pesos. Dun sa states, over 36k for a 10% price difference. To be honest, I just kind of chose these models at random. So, yung 4060, because it's sort of the entry level to mid range, especially for our Philippine market. Maybe for the states, they'd consider it entry level. Dito sa atin, medyo mid level na yung 4060. But it's a good barometer kung you're wondering, like, oh, if this is sort of the entry or mid-level, then I can expect the higher tier models to be X amount or something. So it's a good baseline. And even just the 4060, it, it's amazing. 20% difference. And then, of course, I jumped to the king of the hill, the most expensive, 5090. So these models were chosen really sort of random. Um, I wasn't expecting to delve deeper into this data but i guess in the future we will be adding more maybe improving the layout and things but bottom line one of the key takeaways for this month for price watch is that hindi na mura sa states for computer parts especially the most important yung gpu mas mura pa sa atin and you know for years i i've had hardware sugar for years it's always like but ang mahal dito sa pinas grabe yung mga retailers patong basta kung para lang makabenta they don't care about the customer etc there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes but mahal yung prices dito sa atin but now even with all of those things going on in the background mas mahal na ngayon sa states and by a significant number so we'll go to the summary and it's also good news. I mean, it's not good news for the guys living in the States, but it's good news for us na very competitive na local prices dito sa atin. And you can see that also that in particular this month is a good time to buy. Because across the board, in almost all of the GPUs that we follow, price drop. And sometimes quite significant. Not too significant, 16.50, mga 200 pesos lang. 30.50, slight price increase pa nga, but very slight lang. 30.60. Around 600 pesos or so, not bad na. This is the 12 gigabyte model. The 4060, sort of yun nga, um, what everybody looks for as a baseline. Mura, and by quite a lot, by around 700 pesos. Very slight price decrease, 20 pesos for the 4070 Super. 4070 Ti Super, actually big price drop for the 4070 Ti Super, 7,000 pesos or so. No change for the 4080 Super. 5070, slight price drop. 5070 Ti, again, 5,000 peso difference or so. Quite significant, around 10% compared to last month. 5080, from around 81,000 pesos, naging 76,000 pesos na lang siya. So these are real savings in the average price of GPUs. Your chances of landing a more expensive GPU in April were much higher compared to now when you just go into... Well, you know, ra average price, so not all stores will have this, but equaling everything out, ballpark figures, these look quite good. Especially for the 5090. <laughs> average price last month, around 209,000. Ngayon, mga 173,000 na lang siya. I mean, that's a 30k plus difference right there. You can buy a lot of things <laughs> with the 30k that you saved up if you bought a 5090 now instead of if you had pulled the trigger last month. And that's really why we do this. If you think about it, yung price watch, itong episode na to that we do once a month, pwedeng ma perwisho yung shop because people will look at the data that we present and then they'll look at our GPUs and they'll be like, oh, bakit mas mahal yung sa inyo? You said the average price was this, but mas mahal yung sa inyo. A lot of factors can go into that and we can explain it if you do ask. But bottom line, this 
kind of presentation of data might get the shop in you know a little trouble, especially if you don't want to delve into the numbers. But we do it because we think it's important for the audience, for you guys, yung mga interested sa computers sa Pinas, because it does give a nice snapshot of where the market is now in terms of prices. And we just don't track NVIDIA, we also track AMD. So we have the 9070, slightly cheaper. The 9070 XT actually got more expensive. And we'll talk about this. It's not so much between the price last month, although it was lower compared to this month. It's sort of the price difference between these two models. 9070 and 9070 XT. The XT is supposed to be the faster version, but not by that much. Imagine if you pay around 45,500 for the 9070 versus around 51,500 or so for the XT version, that's 6,000 peso difference, that's more than 10%. You won't see like an across the board 10% performance improvement jumping from the 9070 to the 9070 XT, but that's what you're seeing in terms of buying, like how much you would have to spend. So this is a bit concerning for the AMD side. These cards were greeted with a lot of appreciation from the enthusiast community. Performance was decent, slash good, but what really caught the attention was the price point. Ang ganda ng performance to their prices. Pero for the XT, this got eroded a little bit since mas mahal na siya ngayon. Although, what happened here probably was yung cheaper versions, yung cheaper brands of the 9070 XT sold out na. So yung natitira na lang yung mas mahal. And that's bringing up the average price that you can get it for right now. We also follow Intel, so that's a B580. Price is slightly cheaper by around 100, 150 pesos or so. 9800X3D is actually cheaper now. Let me correct that. So last month around 33,300, now it's around 32,800. And as mentioned earlier, a lot cheaper compared to what it's like in the States. And across the board, actually, all of the AMD CPUs we track have gone down. You know, about 1,000 peso or so difference, 1,100 for the 7800X3D. Very slight price difference for the 7600X. Decent price difference for the 5600X, not quite a 1,000 peso difference. And then we have the 5600G at around 500 pesos less. No movement from the Intel side except mas mahal ng konte yung 14700K by around 100 pesos. So not really much to look at. Not much happening with the Intel CPUs reflecting sort of the market consensus that this current generation and you know the major may missteps yung Intel lately. But bottom line, great time to buy GPUs, May 2021. I'm just curious, I'm going to look back to last year's data because we have that also. We've been doing this for more than two years. So yung, it's hard to compare because a lot of the models we were tracking, we're tracking now weren't around in May of last year. May of last year, actually, there were more price increases than price differences. So dita natin masabi na every May or around this time of the year, May price differences. And again, yun nga, that's why we put in the works uh, price watch. It, it's kind of tedious work, to be honest, getting all of the data from the four different retailers, the four largest in the country, putting them all together, presenting them, analyzing the data. But yun, I really think it's useful for anybody who's interested in computers, gaming computers, <laughs> enthusiast-level computers sa atin. So that's the summary. We do have a per shop deep dive. We don't tell you the names, so it's Wedge and Roy. Joker and Wash names I got from science fiction, but you can see all of the data here. This is the basis for the summarized data I showed you earlier. And we also take note when, when we can't get a price from some of the four stores. So dito for the 4070 Ti Super, dalawa lang yung may stock, so we put there two samples. Because the sampling rate, it does affect the averages if only one or two stores, obviously kung one, but if only two or three stores have them, and we take note of that also. So we try to make the data as presentable as possible, but if you want to geek out and do a real deep dive, we have provided that information as well. And when you take a look at the deep dive, we said earlier na across the board, we see a lot of price drops, but most of that is because of Roy. <laughs> they had a lot of price drops this month, so that brought down the average price. Joker also to a certain extent, but you can, you can see the data here. Wedge had nice price drops also actually for the 50 series. Roy, not so much for the 50 series since walang available. But everything else, they price drop. Joker also. So Joker, all across the board, price drops. Wash had a slight price increase lang for the 3060 12GB model. 4060 price drop and then the 5090 
actually the yun nga, it, it's important to see the averages but it's also important to see the individual shops because Joker has the exact same model of 5090 for 154,000 which is a great deal. <laughs> That's a good steal. 5090 Ventus pa siya compared to 171,000 of the exact same model from Wash. And then moving on to AMD CPUs, yung nagmahal nung average price is Wedge. Yung last month kasi si Wedge walang stock nung 9070 XT. Ngayon meron na, pero it's quite expensive. So it's the Asus GPU, Asus Prime. Asus, yeah, I like Asus. They send us a lot of stuff. We get to use a lot of their stuff. Quality naman, but their pricing really is on the premium end. So that's the one, actually, that one shop, that one availability is the one that's, that increased the price of the, that increased the average price. Because everybody else, no change naman sa pricing. Joker is at uh, 9070 XT, no change. Wash has the Sapphire, which is the cheapest. Okay rin naman yung Sapphire as a brand, and it's around 48,400. Si Wedge, yun nga, has the Asus Prime. This is the cheapest 9070 XT that they have. It's around 56,000 pesos. And that's what brought up the average price. Although, I should note that the price discrepancy, which was the main point na I raised earlier, nandun pa rin. So, you can get the Sapphire, you can get the 9070 XT from Wedge for around 43,000. But then the price jump to the XT is layo. It's like 13,000 pesos more. And then you scroll down to Joker, and parang maloko talaga to si Joker, eh, kasi yung 9070 niya, yung pinakamura, is also the prime, the 9070 version. It's at 50,000 pesos. Mas mura pa yung XT, and there's no reason. I mean, you might love Asus or something, but you know, if it's price to performance, there's no reason why you would get the 9070 over the XT, especially in this case, na mas mura pa yung XT. So the only one with some rational pricing is Wash. Mas mura yung 9070, 9070 as it should be around 44,000. And then your XT niya is around 48,400. 10% difference, roughly. And that is ballpark. That's kind of like what you expect the price difference should be for the 9070 XT. So overall, out of the four stores we surveyed, only one has kind of logical, rational pricing for the AMD GPUs. CPUs, not much action, and if anything, they went down past, so that's good news. So overall, it's a good time to buy GPUs if you're thinking about it. Labas mo wallet mo, labas mo life savings mo. Now it's the time to get that 5090. But what I really found interesting for this month, and will continue to track this trend, is the wild price difference between Amazon prices and Philippine prices. Actually, pupunta ako sa States this month, so maybe I can check it out talaga, like... Punta sa micro center or something, and then we'll see the price differences. And if this is just a temporary thing, we know there are a lot of changes now with the tariffs and back and forth, mga political developments. Is this just a blip? You know, something na mawawala after a few months, or is this a long term pricing trend? And tayo na ngayon, yung mas mura. And it's <laughs> nakakagulat. I mean, it's not something, this is a position. I didn't expect us to be in ever. And now here we are, where a 4060 is 20% cheaper sa Pilipinas. What a time to be alive. Thanks for watching.